Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial 4 of uh, Introductory Python for Image Processing series. Now in today's tutorial, let's actually appreciate the simplicity of Python by just writing five lines of code to actually perform one image processing task. And in fact, uh, the actual line that's going to do the image processing task is one line, and these four other lines are to actually read the image and to display the image. That's pretty much it. So I hope uh, with this tutorial, you would actually get a bit motivated in case you're uh, fearing about coding, uh, hopefully a bit motivated to jump into this coding task and uh, start coding it. So uh, let's before actually writing it in Python, let's actually see it in something a bit more comfortable, which is again, this is Zen Blue or Zen Light. Uh, you can go ahead and download the free version. Just type Zai Zen Light uh, in your browser, in your search, and you'll find it. So what uh, we shall do is I'm going to open an image where I artificially added some noise, obviously a very bad uh, noisy image, and let's perform Gaussian smoothing, probably an operation that most of you are familiar with. And let me go ahead and type uh, Gauss here and see, double click to you know select it or single click to select it, and let's actually apply a two sigma uh, uh, of Gaussian smoothing, that's okay. So let me go ahead and click on apply. So immediately you should see a cleaned image over there. Obviously it's blurred, that's the nature of Gaussian smoothing. It blurs the image and in the process of blurring it, it actually uh, cleans the noise. That's what Gaussian smoothing is. Now let's see how we can do this very easily in Python. Okay, so for that I'm gonna open my spider ID. I'm not going to explain what this is yet. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install it, okay? And later on, I'm going to describe exactly what each of these steps are here. But for now, let's just write four or five lines of code to actually implement this Gaussian smoothing. And then let's continue this in the next tutorial, okay? Understanding uh, uh, Python or this software in the next tutorial. So for step number one, you have to import the right libraries. And what's a library? A library uh, is a building. Well, a library uh, can be virtual, right? Uh, it contains a whole bunch of books. And each book contains different chapters and each chapter contains different pages. Think of a library here pretty much the same way. It contains a whole, uh, uh, let's say, collection of uh, uh, you know books. And each book is designed, uh, has information about certain tasks. So a book called uh, Scikit Image has uh, chapters called uh, IO and chapters called filters. And that chapter called filters has like information on various filters. So let's actually, instead of discussing, let's go ahead and write it here. So I'm going to import, instead of importing entire library, okay? I don't want to bring entire library into Python. You can if you want. But uh, Scikit Image is one library that actually contains uh, a lot of image processing operations, but let's only worry about a couple that are important for us. IO, which has, uh, uh, think of IO as a chapter that has pages about how to uh, read an image, how to write an image and all that. And uh, another library called uh, Filters. Okay, Filters, as the name suggests, it has a whole bunch of filters and we are going to import Gaussian from that. Uh, filter uh, filter over there. I'm also going to matplotlib import another library again not the entire thing from matplotlib I'm going to import pyplot and pyplot as the name suggests it lets me plot. What am I trying to plot? I'm trying to plot my pixels so I can visualize my image. So every time instead of uh, typing pyplot you can actually type plt. That's my shortcut for pyplot. That's it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start reading the image. My image, I'm going to assign that to a variable. This is how you typically do it uh, in Python or any coding language. Uh, IO dot, you see a whole bunch of functions available here. Again, don't worry about it for now. IO dot imread, okay? This is the function I'm interested in. That's it. And where is my image located? It is located under uh, images, where is it, slash, the file name right there okay so let's go ahead and copy the file name because we may make a mistake in typing it so i'm going to say okay so here is my location images slash right there so this is the file name that's it i am reading the image right now now let's process the image for processing i'll give another name i'll just call this a gaussian processed image or a gaussian image Gaussina, sorry, I tend to mistype sometimes. Gaussian, it doesn't matter. This is just a name. Now, where is my uh, Gaussian filter located? As you know, filters dot, 
And again, there are a whole bunch of filters here, edges, uh, edge detector. You can have like a, a Hessian, median, a whole bunch. Right now, all I need is, if you want, you can find it here or you can just start typing Gaussian. And how do you want to process your Gaussian? On my image, that's called IMG, with a sigma value of two. So I'm done. This is it. Now let's visualize the image. You know how to visualize it. I just defined it PLT again. A whole bunch of stuff going on there. All I want is PLT dot show. What do we want to see or what image we want to show? Gaussian underscore IMG. You can just visualize anything here, right? So let's go ahead and run the code. And on the right hand side, you see that is the processed image. This is it, that easy. This is five lines of code. If I remove the spaces, it looks ugly. I like to organize it by separating different pieces of code. And uh, you can see within five lines of code, we wrote something uh, a little bit com complicated, right? Gaussian uh, denoising. Now, we were able to do that because someone spent a lot of time contributing towards these filters module by adding a whole bunch of image uh, functions, image processing functions. So we are just using it. This is why Python is amazingly easy and simple to do it. So I hope uh, you overcame your fear a little bit, if you still had some uh, fear of uh, coding. And uh, starting next uh, tutorial, I'm gonna now uh, talk in a structured way in terms of how to install your Python. Once you install, you know, what does it mean? What does the left-hand side mean here? What is the right-hand side? What are these numbers? You know, what does this mean? So let's actually uh, progress in a structured way so we don't uh, we don't leave any, any topic unturned, okay? So I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And again, let's uh, meet in the next one and now start understanding image processing in Python. Thank you.